Yo, what's up, guys? It's Josh here, and uh, I'm going to start. An, I'm starting a new series with this video. Uh, I was going to upload to a video on a different film instead, uh, the film of Spouter. But uh, instead, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start the series I've been meaning to do for a really long time. Uh, it's a series on the black exploitation films of the '70s, <laughs> and uh, which is a very weird time for film and movies in general. And uh, it was pretty funny and pretty awesome. A lot of movies are pretty good. But they're all funny, what I mean to be funny. And so I was like, what can capture that, all of that in one movie? And I was like, you know what, what be the, what's a better way to start a series on Black Station films than the movie, I'm going to get you, sucker? I'm going to get you, sucker! Yes! And it's the story of the brother's fight! Yes! Against Mr. Big! Yes! Well... Let's get that sucker. Yes. It's about action! Bravery. I'm a soldier, man. I've been trained for combat. Romance. Twelve inches. And danger. If y'all step on my bunny, I'll kill both of you. I'm gonna get you, sucker. So yeah, I'm gonna get you, sucker. <laughs> it's a film um, written and directed by Keenan Ivory Waynes, the lesser known of the Waynes brothers. I don't remember the other two's name. It's Marlon and something, whatever. But yeah, it stars Keenan Ivory Waynes as Jack Spade, the main character, Bernie Casey as John Slade, Antonio Fargus as Flaga, Steve James as Kung Fu Joe, Isaac Hayes as Hammer, and Jim Brown as Slammer. All of which, of course, have, except for Keenan Ivory Waynes, have all starred in Black Exploitation films before. And seeing that it has all of them, I'm guessing you can see that this movie is, of course, a parody of Black Exploitation films of the 70s. And when I say this movie is funny, it's fucking hilarious. Who are these guys? It's my theme music. Every good hero should have some. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Don't say that. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Even if you can't say it, you got to see it. I got you, sucker. So yeah, this movie follows uh, Jack Spade, and yes, that's his real name, Jack Spade. And yes, there's another character named John Slade. Is there a link there? Who knows? But yeah, um, it follows him after he comes home from war. That they never say which war. So yeah, I'm, it's pretty, probably was Nam or something. I don't know. But yeah, oh, wait, do they say? Well, I don't remember. Well, whatever. But yeah, he comes back home from war, and he's a wannabe hero, and uh, he comes back and he meets his brother. And uh, they get into some, some hijinks, and uh, something happens, and now he's out for revenge on Mr. Big. And he recruits all these other former heroes from the 70s and before to help him get revenge on said Mr. Big. So, yeah, I'm going to keep you second. It's pretty fucking funny. Uh, John Spade, I mean, Jack Spade, excuse me, not to be confused with John Slade. <laughs> Jack Spade is a pretty, he's a pretty good, uh, good main character. He's pretty funny. I, I, he's hilarious, actually. All the characters are hilarious. Uh, speaking of the characters, um, two characters in particular shine through, in my opinion. Fly Guy by Antonio Fargas and Kung Fu Joe by Steve James. They are by far the best characters in this movie. And they're hilarious and they have some of the best scenes, if not the best. <laughs> no, as well as uh, there's another character, uh, Jack Spade's mom. Uh, what's her name? Mabel? Or Ma Bell? Ma Bell? I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, she has some pretty funny scenes, too. Uh, one of her scenes, actually, is what get, really got me into this music. Okay, this is about to be hil fucking hilarious. But, yeah, um, I'm just going to say, I was trying to avoid it, but it's a scene where she gets in a fight, because she's always coming to this man's, uh, Jack Spade's defense. And it's one scene where they get in the fight in a restaurant, I think, and she just stands there, someone else comes in, and beat them up, but it's supposed to be <laughs> It's still supposed to be her, and you can clearly tell it's a whole ass different person. Oh, my baby. Ma! How'd you do that? So I was like, if that doesn't make you want to watch this movie, then I don't know what will. That that scene alone is hilarious. And I'm like, this is actually the perfect movie. I've never seen something so beautiful. Like this movie is actually amazing. This movie is is gorgeous, and um, but yeah, there's two other characters by uh, named Willie and Leonard. 
One is by Damon. Oh, that's his name, Damon. Damon Wayne. He plays Leonard and Kadeem Her- Hardinson plays Willie. You guys, I'm assuming you people, you sh- what the fuck am I trying to say? I'm assuming that you all should know Kadeem from a, a different world, the um, Bill Cosby show. Wait, is that the name? Yeah, different world, the Bill Cosby show. You guys know that one. Uh, he played Dwayne Wayne with the really he had the really cool shades or glasses. He was like the poetic character, but yeah. So I was like, yeah, the characters in the movie are really hilarious. And they're actually what kind of makes the movie and not the movie itself, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that does. Yeah, the characters in this movie makes the movie because they're all funny. They're all hilarious. And they're all cool in their own way. And y'all get, and they all get in certain situations that's funny and specific for each one of them. And I feel like it's funny. And that's what makes the movie shine through. Like, they have the individual moments to all come together just to make one glorious, hilarious movie. That's truly funny as fuck. That's truly funny as fuck. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Fly Guy and Kung Fu Joe by far have some of the best and funniest moments, in my opinion. Uh, Isaac Hayes' uh, Hammer has some pretty fun. Yeah, they're, they're all fucking hilarious. This is feel like that, but it's some scenes you can see with, <laughs> with uh, Fly Guy and Kung Fu Joe. It's like, what the fuck? Like, for instance, Kung Fu Joe has Kaioken, Gearsack, and shit, whatever you want to call it. Ultra Instinct. This man has everything. This man, Kung Fu Joe, is a powerful force, and he is a menace. get out of the car what's the problem officer just step out of the car Ooh. one door is a jar get your hands on the hood please close the door your door <coughs> is a jar look what we got here i said close the Go, door huh? shithead so you wanted to try and set me up huh everybody was <laughs> Uh, even the Jack Spade mom is pretty powerful. She's funny too, of course. But yeah, so yeah, they're all out. Uh, he uh, wait, what the fuck am I trying to say? Jack Spade is almost the team of all these former black heroes from the seventies and before to take down Mister Big, the local crime boss, who's of course play, of course played black by a white man in black station fashion. Well, not all of them had white main villains, but I mean, a lot of them did. But um, <laughs> yeah, and he. <laughs> He's played by John Vernon. You guys should know him, hopefully. Well, I know him because I watch a lot of movies. But, yeah, he played in Dirty Harry for one in Animal House. You guys know those films. And as well as Killer Clowns from Outer Space, a personal favorite of mine. But, yeah, they even referenced that he uh, played in really good movies and that he's playing in this. And that he was like, wait, why am I? <laughs> Never thought you would play a, a white, a, wait, what they say, a white villain in a black Something like that. It's funny. It's it's pretty hilarious. It's like, you played a white villain in a black exploitation film. They say this in the movie itself, and it's pretty funny. And I was like, at least it's self-aware. That's another thing about this movie. It's hilarious and it's self-aware. And I feel like it's so well done in its execution that you can't tell the serious moments away uh, f- apart from the comedic moments. And it's like, that's golden and that's excellent writing. I don't really want to praise the writing of this too much because I don't want to turn this into a um, review and more, just more of a, a discussion. But yeah, it was like, that's just so fucking funny. Like, like, well, it's a serious moment, but it's just these characters are funny. Let's put it that way. So it makes you want to laugh, even though it's a serious moment. It was like, I get that serious moment, but these dudes are so fucking funny that I can't help but laugh. And that's kind of the point in this movie. It's a parody. It's a comedy. It's making fun of these black cetacean movies that tried so hard to be serious, but they were always comical. I mean, they were still good movies, but they were still comical or funny. It's like much like the first Evil Dead movie. It was serious, but I mean, it was fucking comical unintentionally, which changed direction of later films. But back to this, yeah, it was like they saw those movies like, bro, these shits are hilarious. Like, cause Truck Turner is funny, Shaft is funny. Those movies, watching them, they are funny without even trying to be funny. These are serious movies, but you see, and these, <laughs> you see someone getting their ass beat and tossed around, you're gonna laugh. Like the dialogue is funny. It's hard being a black hero, which is the tagline of this movie. Is funny. <laughs> he's not like, Jack Spade himself isn't really a hero because everyone else does to work for him. He's just kind of. <laughs> it's just this is a movie that you need to see. It's like, it's something you see on your own. Like, it's funny. It's well written. It has amazing characters. It's directed amazingly. It has an, an amazing cast. It's just funny as fuck. It's just a hilarious movie. They go out, they get revenge on Mr. Big. I mean, it's a simple premise. I mean, it's a black exploitation film. That's what they are. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going to end the video right there. 
or the discussion on the film there, but I'm going to start talking about black exploitation films now. But, I mean, what well, the next videos I'm going to do? Next videos are going to be more analytical, more in-depth. This one, this movie is just so funny that I kind of started ranting and raving about it in a good, in a good way. And I could nitpick this movie, because it has a 6.6 .6 on IMDb. But, I mean, I can nitpick this movie and say it should be lower. I gave it a 7. I don't like ratings, but I gave it a 7, which, in my opinion, is a good movie. Because I rate from 5 to 10, and then 1 through 5. 5 being average, 4 being below average, and 6 above average. Then someone getting better from there. So I put this movie as it's just good, because I say 5 is average, 6 is above average, 7 is good, 8 is excellent, 9 is amazing, 10 is near perfect. And then you can just get it from what I mean from there, from, like, five, 1 through 5. So, yeah. But yeah, my next, other videos from like rotation films like Truck Turner, Shaft, movies like that, they're going to be more in-depth talking about the actual movies. This one, this is more of a, like an intro to the series and why you should watch black exploitation films as a whole and why you should watch this fucking movie called I'm Going to Get You Sucker. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to keep talking about the movie even though I just said I was going to end it. This movie is funny as fuck. I don't remember if I said that there's a scene with his mom beating someone's ass and there's someone else there doing it for her and it's supposed to be her. But I'm gonna say that again if I didn't, if I did, because that shit is fucking hilarious. The Kung Fu Joe has Kaioken. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's this one character with a cyst on his foot that he brings up, and that's something that comes back later in the film, and it's fucking funny. A character blows himself up with dynamite, as cartoonish as it sounds, it's fucking funny. Like, it's hilarious. This movie is just amazing, and it's probably the best Wayne's Brothers film I've ever seen. And if you guys know them, they did uh, White Chicks and Little Man. They did movies like, yeah, White Chicks and Little Man. Those first two off the top of my head. Uh, I think they did Don't Be a Menace to South Central or Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, if that's the full title. I don't know why I know the full title, but I'm pretty sure that's it. But yeah, this movie is amazing. Like I said, it had, it had, <laughs> the characters are Jack Spade, John Slade, Connection, maybe, who knows. Fly Guy, one of the best characters, if not the best. Kung Fu Joe, same for as Fly Guy, maybe the best, who knows. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck between them two. Hammer Slammer, and yeah, that's their team of people that set out to get revenge on Mr. Big. Do they, do they succeed? Do they fail? Who, kn <laughs> who knows? You need to watch the movie to find out, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's going to be it for me. Uh, yeah, watch I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Actually, I don't. You know, I didn't grow up around blacks. Now, I grew up in the suburbs. My dad was a lawyer, my mom was a doctor, and all my friends were white. Chump. Come on, won't you lot ever learn? You're in my world, my duckies. You can't win. Titans, go! But how do I... Make him laugh! How many Okarans does it take to hoagie a Morflark? <laughs>